Um, a system of equation is given as 2x plus 3y is equal to, let's just write down the equations before we even look at the question. 2x plus 3y minus z, that's equal to negative 3.5. And it gave us that x minus y plus 2z, they tell us that is seven. And then they tell us that 1.5x plus 3z, and they tell us that is equal to nine. Okay, so this is what we have. And they say rewrite it in augmented matrix. So let's rewrite this in augmented matrix. So I'm just going to put a line. I don't like to mix different solutions. Let's just put a line over up here. So down here is just part C. So we have a matrix. So a matrix. All right. Um, let us see. So two coefficient is going to be two three minus one augment this is going to be one minus one two this is going to be 1.5 1 1.5 this is zero and this is three all right up here now we're going to have minus 3.5 minus 3.5, minus 3.5, 7, and 9. Nice and easy, soft. All right, so that's the augmented matrix. That's part I. Let's look at the next part. It says, use elementary row operation to reduce it to echelon form. So to reduce it to echelon form, Let's do that here. We need to get zero in row one and row two. Used in row one, using row one. So using row one, right? We're gonna let row two, row two is gonna be equal to row one minus two row two. Row one minus two row two. And then we're going to let row three be equal to, that's 1.5. So let me see. It's going to be 1.5 row one, 1.5 row one minus, minus two row three. That's what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to do that. And what we're going to get is, Row one automatically stays the same. So two, three, minus one. And this is minus 3.5, minus 3.5, all right? So two row one means two, let me see, row one minus two row two is row one, which is two minus two times one, that's zero. Then row one, three, minus two times this, they have three minus two times minus one, that's three minus two times minus one, that's five. Just making sure this is five. Then minus one, minus one, minus two times two, that's minus five here. This is minus five. Then you have minus 3.5, minus two times seven, minus 3.5, minus two times seven, that's minus 17.5. So we have minus 17.5. And then we're gonna go 1.5 row one minus two row three. So 1.5 row one minus Two row three that becomes zero. Then we get one point five times three. 
minus two times zero is 4.5. This becomes 4.5, 4.5. Then I have 1.5 row one, 1.5 times minus one, minus two times three, that's minus 7.5. This is minus 7.5, right? And then you have minus, minus one point, you have 1.5 times minus 3.5 minus two times nine, that's minus 23.25 right here. So this is minus 23.25, minus 23.25. Nice and easy, soft. Now we need to use row two to get a zero in row one. So let's continue. So we're continuing. And we need to write that row three is now going to become, it's now 4.5 row two minus five row three. 4.5 row two minus row three, minus five row three. That's what we're gonna do, all right? So again, we now put back row one and row two, putting back row one and row two, it's two, three, minus one, minus 3.5. And then we'll put back row two, which was zero, five, minus five, minus 17.5. And then we'll go to the big one now, row three. Now in row three, as we can see, it is 4.5 row two. So it's gonna be 4.5 times zero minus five times zero is zero. So this becomes zero. Then we do the same for here, 4.5 times five minus 4.5 times row two five minus five times 4.5 becomes zero right here. Then we're gonna have 4.5 times minus five, minus five times minus 7.5. That's gonna become 15. So we get 15 here. All right. Then we're gonna have 4.5 times minus 17.5 minus five times minus 23.25. We're gonna get 37.5 here. 37.5. All right, so that's that. What's the next part of the question? So that's finish. All right, so finish this now. So we use elementary row operation, I'll put it in echelon form. So this is it in. Echelon form, echelon form, right? So this is it in echelon form. So this is the echelon form, nice. Now what makes it says to do now? It says hence solve, solve the system. Hence meaning using this now. So using this now we can see that 15 times Z is equal to 37.5. So if I divide through by 15, divide through by 15, I will get Z is equal to 37.5 divided by 15 is 2.5. And if Z is 2.5, looking at right here now, I have 5Y minus 5Z is equal to negative 17.5 and so, I know that Z is 2.5. And so since Z is 2.5, I can transpose to get Y and get that 5Y is equal to negative 17.5 plus five times 2.5, all right? 
And so you work that out and you're gonna see negative 17.5 plus five times 2.5, that's equal to negative five. And so I'm getting y is equal to negative one. Y is equal to negative one. Now that I get y is equal to negative one, I can back substitute again to find out what is x. Let's find out what is x now. I know that 2x, 2x plus three times y. So it's plus three times minus one. All right. Minus z, which is minus 2.5, is equal to negative 3.5. So I transpose and I'm going to get 2x is equal to minus 3.5 minus 3 plus 2.5. So 2x is negative 4. And so x equal to negative 2. That is x. x is negative 2. So finally, to write the solutions, I can tell them that x is negative 2, comma, y is minus one comma z is 2.5 if you don't believe it you can test your solutions in any one of these equations and it should satisfy minus two plus one plus two times 2.5 it should work out let me check it in this one did i do that right for x let me see minus three minus 2.5, then minus 3.5, minus answer is two. No, X is minus one. Made a mistake right here. Let me edit this. This should be X is minus two, two X is minus two. So X is minus one. So here X is minus one as well. Now that should be fine now. 1.5 times minus one plus three Z. What is going on? Why these don't add? So clearly we made some error. Let's check again. This Z is 2.5, that's good. Transposing, we have minus, we'll bring it over, it becomes plus, then divide through by five minus 17.5 plus five times 2.5, that's minus five. Y is indeed minus one. Going into the first equation, two X plus three Y minus Z. So that's three times minus one minus 2.5. That's minus 5.5, bring over here, minus 5.5, that becomes 5.5 minus 3.5 is positive two positive two, so many times, positive two. So X is positive one. Positive one, all right? That should be it now. 1.5 times positive one plus three times 2.5. Yes, we're good. So this is the final answer. So that is it, nice. So you can just tell them nice, cause you know your answer right, so you say nice. All right, now let's look at the last part now. It says, what if we had, show that no solution exists if the third equation is changed to 1.5 minus 1.5y plus 3c equal nine. So the third equation, If we were to change this now, oh boy, let's write it around here. What if we were to change the third equation? So then the whole matrix would just become two, three, minus one, one, minus one, two, 1 1.5, minus 1.5, three augment minus 3.5 
minus 3.57 and 9. All right, so if this was what we had, this was what we had, all right, then of course, what they're saying is show that this have no solution. To show that this have no solution, which is part four, again, we already know when we row reduce it, what we would get for row two, all right? So I'm just writing about the same, what we would get, we would get, most of them would be the same, all right? So remember we had used row two as row one minus two row two. So we had used row one is equal to row one minus two row two minus two row two. And we were using that row three would be equal to, we can use the same again. Row three was 1.5. Row one minus two row three. So it's 1.5 row one minus two row three. We were doing that and what we were getting is, just gonna write back what we got row one, put back row one again, which we know was two, three, minus one, minus 3.5. Then remember what we got for row two. Row two would have been 0, 0.5 minus 5 minus 17.5. Would have been 0, 0.5 minus 5 minus 17.5. All right, and then Row three is gonna be the only difference now. Right here, we know we're gonna get zero, but now we have to do some calculations. 1.5 row one minus two row two. It's 1.5 row one, 1 1.5 times three minus two times minus 1.5. 1.5 row one, 1.5 row one. 1.5 times 3 minus 2 times minus 1.5. That's 7.5. So I get 7.5 here. Then I have 1.5 row 1. 1.5 times minus 1. Minus 2 times 3. This is minus 7.5. Minus 7.5. All right, and then minus 1.5 times minus 3.5 minus 2 times 9. Point five row 1. Minus 2 times row 3. Say minus 23.25. All right, so that's what we get now. Now the next thing is we need to get here to be a zero, so we get a lower echelon matrix. So to get this to be a zero, what we're going to do is, remember we write back row one and row two. So we write back row one, which was two, three, minus one, minus 3.5, all right? And we have, zero, five, minus five, minus 17.5. All right, minus 17.5. And then now we need to get, use row three now, and row three is going to be equal to, what is row three? Row three is equal to, row three is equal to, we're gonna let row three be equal to 7.5 row two minus five row three. So we can let row three be equal to 7.5 row two minus five row three. All right. This will become zero. And this will become zero. 
Then we're testing this now, 7.5 row two, 7.5 times row two, which is minus five, minus five times row three, which is minus 7.5, that also becomes zero. But then what this is giving us is 7.5 times minus 17.5, minus five times minus 23.25, that's minus 15. Now look what is this, this is giving us. This is telling us then that zero X plus zero Y plus zero Z is equal to 15. But that makes no sense. That makes no sense. How can nothing, how can nothing be equal to 15? Right, that makes no sense, tell them. That makes no sense. Since that makes no sense, hence the system is inconsistent, is inconsistent when the last row is changed to, it's inconsistent when the last row is changed to, X is changed to 1.5 X minus 1.5 Y plus 3Z equal to negative equal to nine. And the system is inconsistent when we do that. All right, nice. That's it, that's it. So that takes care of the paper for 2015. It was very easy, right? I really hope this would have helped and stay tuned for more. All right, make sure to subscribe and all the best preparing for your exam. That's four root five over eight, that is x squared, all right.